name is Nathan Williams. And I'm talking to you with a segment about cyberbullying. I have played the victim and I've played bully. In the role of the victim, you're always picked on and you're made to feel insignificant, uncared about, unloved. Just anything. And as the role of bully, you want to tear someone down and just make their life a living nightmare. I have actually eight boards here that each have something question-wise and answer-wise. So let's start here. What is cyberbullying? Cyberbullying is the use of information and communication technology to support hostile behavior. What are signs of cyberbullying? Now, signs of cyberbullying are actually multiple signs, but I have the top five that I can think of as the most important. One, you spend a lot of time on your computer. Two, you close your browsers every time somebody enters the room. Three, you're evasive of questions of what you've been doing on the computer. Four, you clear your history completely of all files, all data, anything you've done over the past maybe month, seven days, and you become attentive just with your stuff in school. How do you stop cyberbullying? Plus, wait for your cue. That was actually a pretty hard one to figure out is how to stop cyberbullying. One, don't respond. Two, don't retaliate. Three, save the evidence. That's the biggest one. You want to save that evidence so you can talk with an adult, which is number five. Talk to an adult you trust, like our principal or a teacher or a parent, or a youth pastor. Four, block the bully. Don't play their games. What can you do to stop cyberbullying? That one, I think, was the hardest for me because I had to actually research a lot. You can talk to an adult, which was said in the last board. Ignore that person, same thing as blocking the bully. Your best bet is not to believe anything you've heard over the phone, over a computer, or just said through anything. Because you know what is true, you know what is not. And honestly, I'm gonna ask you all, if you see someone getting bullied with the, the signs I've shown you, just look for the symptoms that you know somebody's being bullied. Stand up, help them out. Don't be a bystander. Be a hero, be a help. Be a hand that is lent to them if they're in trouble and in need. And that's all I have to say. Don't be a mate.